Okay, we're going to look at Pacific ports now and finding time and heights of high water and low water at Pacific ports. First thing we need to mention is that diurnal tides cannot be calculated using these methods. The tides have to be semi-diurnal. So diurnal tides, um, they're usually calculated um, by a computer-based program or use of the simplified harmonic method of tidal predictions. It's not anything we're going to cover. So if it's a diurnal tide, just the one tide in the day, we can't, uh, we can't calculate it. And also if the time difference between high and low water is less than five hours or more than seven hours, we can't calculate it as well. So let's first look at looking up uh, for a standard Pacific port, height and times of high water and low water. So we're going to deal with Auckland, which is a standard port on the 4th of June. So we simply go to the port of Auckland in the tables, look down to the 4th of June, and you can see here we've got the times and heights of water which we've written down there. One thing to note is that in the Pacific, the times given are for the local time zone. Okay, so there the times given are for the times in Auckland. So if we wanted to get the GMT, we're told the time zone is minus 12, then whatever times are here, we'd have to subtract 12 hours from to get the time GMT. Okay, now these time zones don't take into account um, the any local um, allowances made for summer time. So it's just simply the time minus GMT. So let's look at a sec now a secondary Pacific port and how we find the times of um, high and low water. We'll look at how we get the heights later on, but let's just simply look at the times. So we're going to look at the port of Toranga on the 4th of June. And we're told that the ATT number for Toranga is 6415. So the first thing we do, we go into the tables at the back and we look along so we can find 6415 and we can see at 6415 there we find Toranga and if we look up the page we can see for Toranga Auckland is the standard port so Toranga is a secondary port in the Pacific Auckland is the standard port we're told for Toranga for high water, if we go up to the top of the table here, we've got high water and low water. The time differences for Toranga, minus 17 minutes for high water, no correction at all for low water. Okay, so minus 17 and zero. So what we do with this now with Toranga, we look up for the 4th of June the times of high water and low water for Auckland because Auckland is the standard port. So I've gone to the tables for Auckland for the 4th of June and I've written down the four times of high water and low water. What we then do is we simply apply the correction for Toranga. So there's no interpolation to do. So we write down the times that we've got here, 0355, 1021, 1610, 2254. They are the times for Auckland. We apply the corrections for low high, low high water for Toranga. And if you remember, let's just recap, going back to Toranga, we went in, the correction is 17 minutes for high, zero for low. High and low written at the top. So we simply apply 17 minutes at the high water times zero at the low water and then that by calculation there Toranga we've got the times for low and high water for Toranga so there's no interpolation you simply get the corrections from the tables to apply apply those corrections and you've straight away got your times of high and low water for the second report for a standard port it's very straightforward you go straight into the main table for a second report you just simply allow these differences no interpolation at all.